Hello everyone. Welcome to the 31st exercise of Autodesk Fusion 360 Beginners Tutorial. In this exercise, I am going to show you exactly how to design this figure using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands I am going to use in this tutorial. All the dimensions are not given here, so please follow the tutorial to get all the dimensions. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File, Select New Design. I am going to use millimeter as the unit for this design. You can change it by clicking here and you can pick any of the units that you like. First of all, Create a new sketch on the top plane. Go to center dia circle or you can directly press C to go to center dia circle. I am going to draw three concentric circles from the origin. First one diameter 62 millimeter. Second one diameter 26 millimeter and the third one of diameter 18 millimeter. Press enter. Arrange these dimensions so that we can have a clear look of our design. Now go to two point rectangle or you can directly press R select the first point of the rectangle anywhere here the second point here. I am going to hide the dimensions so that I can have a clear look of the design. Now under constraint go to horizontal or vertical select these two points so that they are horizontally aligned with each other. Make sure you repeat the same process for these two points. Now press D to go to sketch dimension. Select this point and the origin and provide a horizontal distance of 5 mm in between them. Repeat the same process on the other side. Now we have this rectangular part. I have extended this part and I will trim it later. Press T to go to trim command or you can do so by going here. Trim out this side of the rectangle. Now under modify go to offset. Select this rectangular part and give a distance of 5 mm. Make sure the offset we are creating on the outer side, not on inner side. 5 mm, press enter. Now I am going to trim out the unnecessary portions from here. So 
प्रेस टी ट्रीम आउट फर्स्ट दिस सर्कुलर पोर्शन एंड नाउ दिस लाइन्स I also don't need this circular portion. Trim out all these lines outside this circle, and here we are done. Press Escape. I am going to extend this line little bit longer. and i will trim them later now under create go to circular pattern select these lines and this arc for the center point select the origin number of quantities 3 distribution full and click okay here you can see the lines are not intersecting with each other so i can extend this line here you can see on the other side the other lines are also extending because i have patterned them now go to trim again and trim out these portions it's time to add some fillets on this sharp corners so under modify go to fillet select this corners before selecting other corners specify the radius as 7.5 mm now select the remaining corners and and here they are I have provided fillet radius of 7.5 mm in each of the three corners. Our sketch is done. Turn on the dimensions. You can also take a screenshots if you want for the reference of your sketch. I'm done with the sketch. So finish sketch go to extrude command select the whole figure except this big circle extrude them up to 7.5 mm extend type distance direction one sided operation new body and click okay our sketch has been disappeared in order to make it visible go to sketches and turn on the sketch one go to extrude again this time select these three profiles for the start plane i'm going to select the object option and for the object i will select the top plane of this circular body so our new extrude will be created with reference to this surface of the body here you can see if i drag it downward 0 mm 1 mm 2 mm and i am going to provide an extrude distance of 5 mm direction one sided operation join click okay i am going to repeat the same process so right click and repeat extrude select this sketch start plane object click on the top surface and extrude it up to 20 mm operation join click okay
Now I don't need the sketch anymore, so hide it. I'm going to create some holes on this surface. So under create, go to hole, select this surface. Here you can see we have a big hole diameter, so reduce it. Or also you can uh, do the same thing here. For the extents, I'm going to change it to all. So the hole will be created throughout the whole body. Hole type counter bore. For the counter board dia, I am going to pick a diameter of 10 millimeter. Counter board depth 2 millimeter and the hole diameter 7.5 millimeter. You can see the position of the hole is not defined yet. So, for the reference, I am going to select this arc. So, the hole will be created at the center of the arc. That means the center of the hole will be created at the center of this arc. Okay, here is our hole. I am going to pattern this hole throughout the whole body. So, under create, Go to pattern, circular pattern. For the object type, make it features. And for the object, select this hole on the timeline. For the axis, you can select either this circle or this circle. Number of items, 3. Compute option, adjust, click OK. Here we have the holes ready. Now it's time for the chamfer. So under modify, go to chamfer, select these edges, and provide a chamfer radius of 5 millimeter. Press enter. I hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial. If you guys have any suggestions and recommendations, please let me know in the comment section. If you want, you can also provide some colors. Press A to go to appearance. I am going to provide this paint metal rough coat yellow color on it. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye-bye.